Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today I thought we'd do a quick unboxing and review of the Primaris Tech Marine. Now I know this one's been out for quite a while, but it's also been on my shelf for quite a while and I've been meaning to get, get it out of the box and get it built. So I thought we might as well do a video while we're doing it. As you can see, I've already taken off the cellophane because to be honest, it was playing havoc with my lights and also I just wanted a quick nosy at the kit before I uh, made this video. Looking at the front, we've got a nice photograph of the miniature there and as with all the new 40k stuff, you get a nice background there as well as the photo of the miniature rather than it just being photoshopped onto a blurry background. You can see that he's armed with a power axe, mechadendrite that you can just see there, forge bolter, he's got a servo arm and he's got his hand there manipulating the arm as always controlling it. And there's also a grav pistol in the kit so you can have it with it in a holster or you can have him aiming it. You can see that he's got the helmeted option there but there's also an unhelmeted head that we'll see on the back of the box if I just bring it a little bit closer. So you've got the bareheaded option there as well and you can see he's aiming the graph pistol and the servo arms stored in a different position. So enough about the packaging, let's get it out of the box and see what we've got. So of course we've got our assembly instructions, we've got the sprue and we've got a small primary character transfer sheet with Ultramarines chapter symbols on, 40 millimeter base, Let's move the sprue to one side for a second and we'll take a quick look at the assembly instructions. So to start off building the body and the legs then just add in the power axe. Then we add the backpack, mechadendrite and forge bolter. Then we've got a decorative piece for the base which we'll take a look at on the sprue in a moment. And then for the rest of the assembly you've got two different options. So you can have him with the arm outstretched as though it's manipulating the servo arm and you can have it aiming the graph pistol with the servo arm in a different position. I'm probably going to go for this option but go with the helmeted head rather than the bare head. And then the rest of the assembly is just the pistol holster and whatever choice you've gone for with the arm and servo arm. And if we look at the back, just got some stats there on the weapons that he comes with. Forge bolter, power axe, graph pistol, servo arm and the mechadendrite. Let's move those to one side and we'll take a look at the sprue. As I said before, you get the unhelmeted head option there with some nice bionics. So for the Iron Hands fans out there, that's a good head to be using. And then we've got the helmeted head as well, which is the one I'm going to go for. Looking at the rest of the sprue, I'll just turn it around so you can get a better look. We've got the power axe, legs, body. You can see the grav pistol there. And then we've got a pistol holster, pouches, and then we've got an empty holster. So if you're having it aim in the grav pistol, that's the holster you want to go for. Forge bolter, servo arm, backpack, and then we've got the left arm if you want to have it in the pause where he's manipulating the servo arm. Use that one. Nice uh, Mechanicum style shoulder pad there, and then we've got this decorative piece for the base. It's a nice change from the tactical rock. Looks like some sort of mechanical debris there that we can have. So that's quite cool. So yeah, that's the, that's the sprue. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Depending on which pose you're going for for the servo arm, these are the two different bits that you attach to the backpack, and that will um determine which position the arm's going to be in and then we've also got that mechadend right there that looks a bit delicate so what i'm going to do now is i'll pause the video i'll get this built and then we'll take a look at the finished model so i'll see you in a minute and here we are with the miniature fully assembled let's bring it in closer so you can take a more detailed look as you can see i've not glued it to the base i've just blue tacked it on for now because i think it's going to be a little bit easier to paint if I can take it off the uh, base and get under the legs and under the backpack. I've also not glued on the forge bolter as well. I've just left that loose because I think it'll just be a little bit easier to paint the shoulder pad and the helmet where I can take that off. Let's give it a quick 360. Overall, very nice miniature. Quite a fun build as well, um, apart from this mechadendrite, which I'll come to in a second. But yeah, a nice build. Easy to follow instructions. As I said earlier in the video when we were looking at the instructions, I've gone for the pause where he's aiming the grav pistol, but I've gone for the helmeted head. As you can see, I've drilled out the uh, pistol barrel there as well. Um, the only thing I'll say when you're building this kit is when you're putting this mechadendrite on, it's quite an um, early step in the build and it's quite a small join as well. So if you're using plastic glue, make sure you give that plenty of time to dry once you've put that on. Go make yourself a cup of tea or whatever because when you get to the later parts of the build where you're doing this arm and the servo arm, when you're holding the model it's very easy to knock that out of place and knock it off so I did that a few times i had to re-glue it so just something to bear in mind when you're building it but overall very nice miniature it's quite wide on the base as well so it's a nice little centerpiece for a space marine army as well but that's it that's the completed primaris tech marine i'm looking forward to getting some paint on it hopefully i'll be doing a video on that soon there'll also be some more unboxing and review videos coming as well as retro read-throughs if you enjoyed this video um, let me know by giving it a thumbs up 
And if you didn't enjoy the video, rather than give it a thumbs down, head down to the comments, let me know what you didn't like, because that'll help me make better videos in the future. If you're new to the channel, uh, please do me the honor of hitting the subscribe button. That will help me out massively because I'm uh, fairly new to this, but I'm having a whale of a time making these videos. I'll leave it there. All that's left to say is thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Yeah.